Hi, my name is Bob Grinia and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, I think things are going to go quite quickly from here. Uh, is the, this is such an honour to be able to uh, roll out this information to you. Um, it's very difficult to uh, not get too excited. But anyway, um, I shared this um, image yesterday in a video uh, talking about how the uh, exotic vacuum object cluster on the um, uh, Lion 1 quartz liner uh, was very uh, similar in structure to the uh, colorized x-ray from Lion 3. Um, uh, and obviously both of these, uh, th this happened when it was hot, uh, but once the reactor had cooled down it was then put into a tin with the x-rays and this happened when it was cold. So whatever caused this still had whatever it had in order to expose uh, this x-ray. And of course, uh, to an expo expose an x-ray, there must be uh, some things that are uh, able to influence the um, material that can be developed on the x-ray. Uh, not necessarily saying that it's x-rays. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'd previously, uh, a long time ago, uh, actually 21st of February 2018, shared this. And this is the original x-ray and in it I show you how I recolorized it uh, just to bring out the gradients and density in the textures. Um, so there, there we have it being colorized, a couple of different colorization options. And then I compare it to a structure on the inside, uh, I think this is on the inside of the, maybe the quartz liner. Um, uh, but I called it the anti -jewel. Now the quartz was massively, massively affected by this um, uh, um, whatever was going on in the reactor and obviously it doesn't look like quartz now but um, having shared this video and put in the links uh, the link to the original video um, uh, show uh, in Japan sent me through something now effectively I call these things I've been calling them the ears and uh, this is going to get a bit interesting for people because um, when you see these structures, you realize that they are fundamental combinations of exotic vacuum objects. And I, I'm, I'm calling it the ear because I, it looks like an ear. Let's put it like that. Um, and, and so this is something that nature is trying to build on all scales. Uh, so there we go. And so he shared uh, this uh, sunspot video. <laughs> And uh, uh, this is uh, should kind of like be quite exciting for you. Uh, I hope it gets you exciting as it, it got me when I first uh, came to these conclusions. Uh, but anyway, you can see it here. Now, th these videos, uh, they're from NASA. This one was taken on uh, December the 13th, uh, uh, 2006. So there are uh, many videos on the web. Just look up sunspots and you'll see this, this particular example here. But if you look at it play out, you can see the uh, flow of whatever the material is that the sun's made from. It doesn't matter what you think it is. It, it, that You can see the flow and you can see how it's flowing around there. And uh, certainly from this video, it appears to be coming in to this center area. Um, so uh, now um, there's another feature online that uh, uh, really uh, confused me uh, initially and, and taught me a lot about uh, what had to be going on. And, and that was the, the jewel itself. So in, in this one, I refer to this as the anti-jewel because it's not very beautiful. But there was uh, the jewel and here it is. And it's on, on the inside of the quartz liner again. But um, as you can see, um, the most of the quartz liner was completely turned like greeny brown uh, all the way through its bulk. But this particular part of the quartz liner uh, had it was white cream and then it was completely um, uh, clear but a rose uh, quartz look to it. Now in terms of the temperature of this reactor we now know it was about a 1080 degrees centigrade. Uh, the interesting thing is that over I think 650 or 800 degrees C that if you get quartz having exposed it or expose it to uh, uh, high energy X-rays or beta rays from uh, um, 
uh, from uh, you know a cobalt 60 or something um, this is one way that they take quartz and they make colored gems from it and green is one and 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 uh, this rose rose tinted color is another so I speculated that light was being able to get through here in in the form of x-rays it was being dragged through here but any material was too dense and it basically got stopped hard at its boundary and so uh, excluding for the light um, this effectively would make a, a force shield and and so it would be utterly impenetrable and I actually did a video on uh, or a steam it blog on how um, whatever's going on here uh, would represent a means to provide an impenetrable shield. Now, why do I say that? Well, um, look at this. This is many, 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 many times the size of the Earth. And nothing is going through it but light. We know light might be going through it, or it's being sucked in there, uh, because it's completely black, and it's on the sun. <laughs> it's black, and it's on the sun. So, um... Uh, lights uh, being sucked in there and um, this would comport with uh, something in here you know generating generating some light and whatever and going through there but what, what these are are magnetic flux loops these are our exotic vacuum object structures and this is one of the forms which they can cluster in so when I've been saying over the last few years uh, think bigger uh, think bigger uh, think bigger um, uh, what you are seeing here in the Lion Reactor, both uh, in this form, the X-ray, this is post, uh, this is uh, obviously formed during, and uh, this was during, um, uh, and this was during, um, it's a fairly predictable shape uh, that comes out. And actually, in, in other areas of the quartz uh, liner, um, uh, uh, I have shown uh, images where you have these things, but they're at diff different orientations. So, and they tend to be orthogonal, which is very interesting. And I, I will talk about that with other evidence that is there. Now, if I was to, you know, ho hopefully <laughs> make a perfect scenario here, I would like something that would prevent, protect me from being exposed to the X-rays. But let's say. I had this structure here and I was sitting inside it, I would probably need to be coated with something that stopped me being exposed to x-rays. If that is what it is, maybe it's not. Anyway, we can come on to that. Any suggestions for what you think that is? Oh, I'm going to have some fun now. Um, uh, ha have, have some goes at what you think that is. But uh, I think you can safely say that no matter is able to go past this. This is an event horizon. Now, why is that interesting in its own right? Well. This isn't the only experiment uh, that we saw this in. That, that's another view of the lion jewel. Uh, some bits cracked off here, but uh, and you, you tend to have on these things this kind of little bit knocked out here. And, and this comports, you can either think of it a bit like this bit here. So this is the overall shape. So you get to a point where the, the center is really intense magnetic field. Intense magnetic field went through this center point here. Um, so th there's one other experiment, actually there's others, but <laughs> let's not go there for now. Um, uh, and that is the echo fuel. And so you see the same overall kind of structure here um, as, and, 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 and the reason I was actually taking these videos back then was because uh, they were everywhere. Uh, you know, when you, when you had a system that was clearly doing Lena, uh, you were seeing this ear shape. And it was obviously a cluster of something that's smaller. And as I said at the time, uh, this is an amazing image because around the perimeter, this cut line where material has disappeared, you have spheres of material all the way around this cut line. Um, and look, look at the structure here. We have this big area here, this big area here, and we have this other kind of black hole area here over here. Now, what have we learned? Well, uh, potentially, this is uh, the, uh, uh, how should we put this? This is, a, is an Alti or an Inni, or whatever way, but it's many, many actual Evos. Now, the other thing is, you can see on this video here, uh, you have these lines going in. You've got these lines going in all the way around. Look at that again. You've got these, I'll share the links to the video that I sourced this from. So you can see all these lines going in. Well, what do you see around this? Well, you see these spheres and radiating from the spheres going out all the way around this structure 
are uh, what look like strange radiation tracks. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> look at that. It's a hole and it's mold. Yeah. Oh, this is so much fun. Um, okay, so uh, yes, what can I say? Um, uh, I can say that the Lion Reactor, I can say with certainty, a hundred, and, and I've said it since you know I, I first started looking at it, with a hundred percent certainty, the process that was going on in the Lion is going on in the Sun. One hundred percent certainty. I can say that the process that is going on in the echo fuel after I took it away from India is Lena and it is how the sun is working. Okay, so I will share the video links for this. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, I will see you in the next video.